Welcome back, my friends. I've uh, been missing you a lot lately. I haven't got to see all of y'all as much, uh, and, and hopefully that'll change very soon. But uh, this week, I just wanted to share some verses with you. Uh, turn with me to Psalms 119, uh, known as the longest book of the Bible for most of us. We kind of know that. Uh, but right in the midst of it, uh, there's eight verses that the Lord kind of stuck out this week and just wanted to share that with you. Uh, I know there's a lot going on. Uh, for many of you, uh, there's a handful of you graduating and, and moving on in life and, and lots of decisions and choices and, and all those good things. And uh, that's kind of the thought on my heart this week is choices. Uh, so kind of keep that in the back of your head as we're reading. But uh, as I read these verses, uh, we'll go back to them in just a minute. But uh, I want to go ahead and just read them and then we'll, we'll uh, look at them one on one. Uh, at a time there, but in Psalms 119, starting in verse 97, uh, it says, Oh, how I love thy law. I couldn't help but think about Brother Mike Bagwell when he preached out of Psalms 107 uh, a couple years back, and uh, when he used that word, oh, uh, and some, add some emphasis and some, um, some heart into it. Oh, uh, and he says, Oh, how I love thy law. The psalmist is in love with God's Word. Uh, and take note of that, guys. Uh, that's, that's where we're at this week. That's my heart for this week. He says, Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> I'm already falling over right there and stumbling because uh, uh, it ain't what all I think about all day long, huh? Uh, I better read on and I'll come back to that. But verse 98, he says... Thou, through thy commandments, hast made me wiser than mine enemies, uh, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. Uh, how sweet are thy words unto my taste! Yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Uh, through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Uh, the psalmist is very clearly in love with God's word. Uh, and as I read that this week, I, I was studying uh, elsewhere and I came across these verses. And uh, it, the underlying thought of choices just kept hounding me when I read these verses and you know you don't hear that word or see that word in these verses but you do if you read them uh, you can't help but to think that uh, the choices that the psalmist made uh, and then you read about the conclusion and the results of those choices within these words that he has pinned down and uh, and that's kind of y'all keep that in mind as we go forward in these verses but we'll just go back to the beginning Psalms 119 verse 97 oh how I love thy law uh, mm. It is my meditation all the day. What do you think about all day long? Uh, whew. I, I'm so guilty of not thinking about God and his word all day long. Uh, this world is full of so many things that, that fill our minds and, and uh, so many distractions. I, I'll use that word because that's essentially what they are because they're not, uh, so many of them don't point back to him and his word. Uh, so they're distractions. Uh, life is full of those things. Uh, I'm sitting in my messy uh, old garage out here and I can see many things. Uh, I like many things and I think about many things all throughout the day, right? Uh, Y'all know me. I love my cars and I love dreaming about, you know, what, you know, to do next and this and that. And uh, it, I mean, you name it. There's so many things that fill our minds, right? Uh, whether it's cars or trailers <laughs> seems silly, right? But I, I think about trailers to pull behind a truck to put cars on, right? Uh, you know, and I've used many excuses. It's for me and uh, it's, it's for some little twin boys and their cars when they grow up. And, and really, it's probably just for me. And, you know, but <laughs> uh, I mean, I dream about so many different things. Uh, and as I read that verse, it's like so convicting because I'm not thinking about him. Uh, all the day long. Uh, the psalmist is in love with God's word 
uh, and it moves past his uh, my, he says it's my meditation he's dwelling on it. he's thinking about it he's contemplating it all the day long uh, and I'll tell you I've thought about it before right and, I, and I've tried to purposely force myself to think about it throughout the day but uh, you know after a while that that wears off when it's just in your mind uh, it has to be like he started out that verse oh how I love that word uh, it has to go beyond the mind and it has to go deeper than that. It has to be a heart thing You have to fall in love with him and with his word uh, or it'll never stick in your mind It'll never stick in your mind uh, I can't help but to, to go back to the cross and, and the salvation and how is that going to stick in my heart? So I can think about it all the time it, man What he did for us, right? Uh, how am I going to love him more just thinking about and realizing exactly what he's done for me, right? He died for me. He paid the ultimate debt that I could never pay, my sin debt. Uh, so I don't have to go to hell anymore. Uh, and when you dwell and meditate on those things, uh, and when that you get a hold of that and put that into your heart, and you'll start to fall in love with him, and then you'll think about him a lot more. I can't help but to think... Um, for some of you, there might be a significant other out there that has uh, caught your eye. Uh, and you, you think about them all the day long, right? Uh, because it's something that is attached inside of your heart. Something is uh, much deeper than just your thoughts and your meditation uh, because it stems from the heart. And, and you don't realize it, and sometimes you it goes a little further and you start falling in love with them right uh, when me and Miss Kristen started dating uh, maybe I didn't want to admit it maybe she didn't want to admit it uh, as soon as I did but you, you start falling in love and, and you think about that person a lot uh, and, you know you're sitting in class and you're like dreaming and daydreaming and thinking about these people and uh, because you've fallen in love with them they're consuming right uh, and in order for us to f fall in love and to meditate on his word all day long, we got to really uh, place him in the right place in, in our heart and fall in love with him like the psalmist did here. Uh, there's a choice there. <laughs> there's a choice there. Uh, he chose to fall in love with the Lord. There's so many other choices that could be made, right? Uh, look around this world. Uh, there's tons. Uh, we make uh, all these different ones all the time. Uh, but as you look at that verse, he's, he says, I'm in love with his word. Uh, there was a choice that had to be made there. Uh, and as we will see a little bit more of that as we read the rest of these verses. But in verse 98, he says, Thou, through thy commandments, hast made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. Uh, they're everywhere. Uh, I, I like it because... Uh, he says that at the end of that verse, my enemies are everywhere. They're still with me. They're all around me. This isn't just happy, good times because I, don't, I can't see my enemies. Uh, reality is, normal, everyday life, your enemies don't go nowhere. They're always there. Uh, but he has chose to look past that and to look to his Lord, uh, to read his word, and, and it's caused him to be able to see past those enemies uh, more and to fall in love with the Lord. Uh, go back to Psalms uh, verse 1, uh, chapter 1, verse 1, sorry. Uh, that might help, huh? Uh, but he says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight. Where is his delight at? Uh, we delight in a lot of things, right? Uh, I have a lot of delights, but where is his delight? His delight is in the law of the Lord. And his law doth meditate, in his law doth he meditate day and night. Uh, where are your delights at? Uh, where do you place those delights? Uh, if you're going to get past and make some, get past your enemies and fall in love with the Lord, uh, you're going to have to make some choices, just like the psalmist did. Uh, he chose to delight in God's word. Uh, and that's why he thinks about it all the day long, because he, it makes him happy knowing more of it. And not only that, uh, he realizes that, you know, through those commandments, he said in uh, verse 98, uh, it's made him wiser. 
wiser than his enemies that are surrounding. He says, they are ever with me. That's like right here. They're right here with him, right next to him. Uh, but because he's chose God's word, uh, he can see past that. He can see something much bigger than his enemies right here next to him. Uh, and because he's following God's word, it's made him wiser than his enemies. Uh, you know, when we have enemies, we like to plot. Uh, how can we be better than our enemies? How can we get back at them or, or, or whatever? If you want to be wiser than them, you're going to have to resort to God. The, uh, he is the one wiser one than, than all, right? Uh, his word is going to help you there. Uh, and, and diving into it and falling in love with him and his word, uh, making that choice uh, is going to cause you to be wiser than your enemies. Uh, how awesome is that? Uh, Deut Deuteronomy uh, chapter 4, he says this uh, in verses four, and six, well, 4 through 6. He says, But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive, every one of you this day. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, uh, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Uh, not only will you be wiser than your enemies, but the world will see you as that wise person. Uh, surely these are the wise people because they because they follow the Lord. Uh, that wisdom is going to be carried out and, and people are going to notice it and see it. Uh, and it may cause your enemies to step back and like, oh, hold on now. Uh, I need to maybe not have anything to do with these people because they got the God on their side. Uh, they got some understanding and, and wisdom. Where does it all come from? You're going to hear it several times through all throughout this. It comes from God. Uh, it comes from his word. Uh, verse 99, he says, I have more understanding than all my teachers. <laughs> You might like this. You might enjoy this, right? Uh, have you ever been in class and you're just like, I'm smarter than this teacher? <laughs> I thought that before uh, in high school, and I probably wasn't. It was probably just, uh, you know, me being boastful and thinking mighty highly of myself. But there were some times a couple of math teachers, I thought I was pretty much smarter than they were. Now, it was not the uh, highest level of classes. Uh, I'm not as smart as all you guys graduating, dual enrollments, and, you know, college classes before even out of high school and all that kind of stuff but uh my my little dumb math classes uh i know at least i was probably one of the smartest ones in the class because i was having to teach all the other people and, and give them the answers and help them out but uh isn't it awesome when you feel good and when you're smarter than the teacher though uh now for you guys i'm sorry i'm not that smart so there's not much to look up to there and uh, but you have so many other smart people around you and people trying to teach you. Uh, how do you become smarter than them? God's word. Following the Lord. Uh, he says it there. He says, I have more understanding than all my teachers for that testimonies or my meditation. Because I meditate and I think about God and his word and all, all the time. It makes me smarter than my teachers. Uh, it makes me wiser. That's where that wisdom comes from. Uh, 2 Timothy 3 uh, verse 15, 2 Timothy 3, verse 15, And that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise. It comes from the Scriptures, guys. How to become smart, how to become wise? God's Scriptures, His Word. Uh, and He doesn't stop there. I like the rest of this, and I'll stop there for a reason. But uh, He says, The Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. Uh, through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Uh, perhaps the greatest piece of wisdom that anybody could possess right there. Uh, once you gain his word and his wisdom and you start reading it, and, and he says one of the greatest things you can know uh, is salvation. Just what Christ did for you. Uh, that is one of the greatest pieces of knowledge that you can ever possess. Uh, it's not in some degree. Uh, it's not in some wealth of knowledge in books uh, but the book God's word uh, and the knowledge of the salvation and his saving power what he's done for us is what 
possibly the greatest piece of knowledge and wisdom that you could ever possess. Uh, but so often we take it for granted, don't we? Uh, we look past it and, and shame on me. Shame on me. Uh, but he says that's a greatest wealth of knowledge right there. Uh, there's so much to be had in this book, but uh, so many of us possess that already, uh, and we don't even realize the greatness of what we possess, uh, the wisdom that we possess and that we can share with everybody else. Uh, the knowledge of salvation, that wisdom uh, can make you smarter than your teachers. <laughs> Uh, not that you need to throw that back in your teacher's face or anything, uh, so don't go doing that. Don't go telling them I said doing anything like that, but uh, you can share God's word with them and, and share that gospel and the knowledge of salvation, and you're going to confound some people and, and with that wisdom, uh, even teachers, because uh, there's a lot of them that probably don't know the Lord, right? Uh, and you share that great piece of knowledge that you can you know, give to somebody else and share with them. Let's go on. Verse 100. Uh, I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. I understand more than the aged people. Uh, this is probably one of my pet peeves uh, for some of y'all that know me. Uh, just because you old don't mean you're smart. Don't mean you're wise. There's a lot of people that are older, they're graduated high school, and they have a little bit of age uh, to them, uh, but they ain't very wise. Uh, they still make many mistakes. They still choose uh, the wrong thing all the time. Uh, and you can see that in their lives, right? The, the consequences thereof. Uh, just because someone is older don't mean they're wise. Yes, with age becomes wisdom if you choose to accept that wisdom and choose to live by that wisdom. Uh, I have learned so much over many years of experiencing things, uh, but I can still make the choice not to follow those things that I've learned. Uh, and then I would become unwise, right? Uh, so many people look past that wisdom, they don't want to learn it, or they don't care, uh, and they're not wise because they're old. That doesn't, that ain't, the two don't go hand in hand, so to speak. We always think that, right? Uh, and I know many people that are older and very wise, but I know many of more that are older and not smart at all, not wise, because they're not applying none of that experience and knowledge, right? Uh, and that's kind of what he alludes to there. Uh, it ain't because you're old and aged. Uh, that understanding comes because I keep thy precepts, he says, uh, because of God's word. He, go, he keeps going back to the same thing. Because I'm in love with your word and you, that it, that's what makes me wise. That's where my smarts come from. That's where my knowledge comes from is because of you, God, and your word. Uh, it, it goes back to Job, and I may have read this last week, uh, but over in Job chapter 32, uh, let me back up to verse 7. He says, I said, uh, days should speak and multitude of years should teach wisdom. Uh, they should. Uh, age and years should teach wisdom. But he goes on in verse 8, but there is a spirit in man. <laughs> but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the Almighty gives them understanding. It don't come from age. It comes from that spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one that teaches us our wisdom. He says, and where does it come from? The inspiration of the Almighty. Uh, God. He's the one that gave us his Holy Spirit. He's the one that inspires. He's the one that inspired all those men to pin down his word. Uh, and he's still inspiring men today uh, and guiding them and leading them. That's where your understanding and your knowledge is going to come from. Not from age. Not from days on this earth. Uh, yeah, you can spend many days on here. Uh, and, but if you don't spend it with God and you're not learning from him, you're not gaining wisdom. Uh, he goes on in verse 9. He says, great men are not always wise. Uh, aged men are not always wise. Uh, neither do the aged understand judgment. Just because you got aged don't mean you know it all. Don't mean you understand everything. Don't mean you're wise. Don't mean you're small. It comes from God, guys. His, his inspiration from his Holy Spirit living within us, I want you to say, that's where your wisdom and knowledge and your understanding comes from not from old age. Uh, verse 101, he says, I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. And we'll go ahead and read 102. He says, I have not departed from thy judgments for thou hast taught me. Uh, he's learned some things over the years uh, 
enough things to know, hey, I need to restrain myself from going this direction. Uh, I need to prevent myself from going this direction. Uh, he says, thou hast taught me. Thou hast taught me. Now, I just told you too in the previous verse, his Holy Spirit teaches us. Uh, he teaches us. And if we are willing to follow, uh, the easiest way for us to learn anything is just to learn his word and let the Holy Spirit teach us. But uh, for me, that would be the easiest way. And I have learned some things that way. Uh, but oftentimes I learn things the hard way. Uh, I am taught things the hard way. Uh, from bumps on the head, from falling short, uh, from making mistakes. Uh, and God has led me down those roads because he knows I learn things that way too. Uh, he allows me to, to make those mistakes. Uh, and I have learned great things from those mistakes too. Uh, I've learned enough not to go back this way, not to go here, to prevent myself from doing these things because I know it can lead to this, right? Uh, some of you may not be that way. Some of you might be. Uh, hopefully, take my advice. Learn it the easy way. Uh, let, let his Holy Spirit teach you and just live it. Just follow him. Uh, don't learn things the hard way. Uh, take, take my advice. I don't know anything, but... Uh, I know this, learn from him. Uh, yeah, there'll be curiosity. Uh, what if over here and, and mm, pleasures here? Uh, but he, he says, he, the psalmist says, I have refrained my feet from every evil way. Uh, they're evil ways. Uh, they will take you down the wrong way. I thought about uh, the prodigal son and his brother. Uh, you know, one guy, he stayed at home working hard. Uh, he made a choice to stay there and to work. Uh, and the prodigal son, he, he chose, hey, daddy, give me my money. Uh, and he went to town and he blew it and spent it and, and he went in riotous living, right? And, and lived it up. Uh, and where did he end up at? In the hog pen. Uh, eating from the trough. Uh, he, he spent all that money, he wasted it. Uh, be careful. Uh, yeah, there is pleasure in sin for a season, his word tells us. Uh, it's there, but no, after that season, other things come. Uh, bumps on the head, uh, you know, logs in the road and roadblocks, uh, consequences come from our choices. Uh, they don't all have to be bad. Uh, he says, I refrain my feet. I, I've learned whether God teaches us in his word uh, and you can simply learn it from that and, and just trust him. I wish I could do that more often uh, and just don't go there. Or if you've been down that wrong road and you've learned it the hard way and God's allowed you to go that way and said, all right, this is what's going to happen if it takes this for you to learn it. Uh, learn it. <laughs> uh, learn from it. So many people, uh, they get the years and they get the experience, of it, but they never learn from any of it, right? They never gain that knowledge. Uh, because they don't learn from those experiences. Uh, I've done things over the years and I've learned from them. Uh, silly one, I've learned don't get up first thing in the morning, early in the morning and go out to your shop and, and before your eyes are open good enough and do woodworking. Uh, I need to wake up good before I work heavy machinery because I might cut off a fingertip or something like that, right? Uh, you know, learn from your mistakes. Learn from God when he teaches you before you make mistakes. Uh, that's the better way of doing it. Uh, and then guide yourself, refrain your steps, restrain yourself from going those ways. He says, I have not departed from thy judgments. Uh, you're going to have to make some choices, uh, and they're going to be hard because it's going to be looking mighty appealing over here, but you got to know, uh, this may not be what's best for me. Uh, it may be fun for a minute, but it's going to result in something much worse, right? Choose his precepts, choose his word, choose to follow him. Uh, verse 103, he says, How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Oh, here we go. Uh, one of my delights uh, is food, and he goes into sweets, desserts. I like, I like this, right? Uh, Y'all know my favorites. Uh, I, I love me some sweet, right? He says, How sweet are thy words unto my taste. And he goes beyond, he says, This is the sweetest thing, the greatest thing ever. He says, uh, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth, sweeter than anything's ever tasted before. Uh, and I can't only get to wondering, 
this guy must have tasted some stuff before. He knows what that honey tastes like. Uh, if you back up uh, to Psalms 19, uh, Psalms 19, verse uh, where we go? 9 and 10, he says, The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. He says, More to be desired are they than gold. Uh, some of us desire gold. Some of us delight in fancy, shiny whatevers. Uh, he says, this is better. He said it's better. And he goes on in verse 10, he says, uh, it's better than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. He says, if you go straight to the source, uh, you know, I, I don't like, uh, you know, we have to get food now and, and take it out and, and we can't sit down in a restaurant in many places anymore right now. I don't like them. I like my food fresh. I like going, I mean, right off the grill. Uh, let me eat it right when I get my burger. I don't want to have to drive 20 minutes home and then it's done cold and starting to get rubbery and hard. and It's not the same. Uh, but if you go straight to the source, he says, that honeycomb, and, and you're, I mean, whew, you're getting it straight off of the, dripping off of that honeycomb, as sweet and delicious as that is. Uh, I, I'm thinking about, you know, my greatest reference to that is going to Popeye's or to Bojangles and getting me some of them biscuits and putting some honey on there. Whew, that's good stuff. It's better than the chicken you're getting from them places. Uh, he says it's sweeter than that. It's, it's better. It's better. God's word, his precepts are far better and, and sweeter. Uh, and, you know, when we think of sweetness, that's, that's kind of the rewards, right? The dessert. You, you eat your dinner, you get dessert. Uh, hopefully you are eating your dinner to get dessert. Uh, if not, you got it wrong. <laughs> we need to eat some real food too, right? Uh, but he says, how sweet are thy words unto my taste? Uh, have you ever found that in his word yet? Have you ever read his word and it was just so sweet and so amazing and it just, it was more than you can contain. Uh, I challenge you, if you haven't been there, keep reading. Uh, delight in his word uh, and fall in love with it because it gets that sweet. It, it gets so delicious. Uh, it's, it becomes a dessert. Uh, and it only causes you to crave more of it and to want more of it. Uh, beyond a chocolate craving, beyond any other delight and stuff, uh, beyond Moose Tracks ice cream, uh, beyond Miss Lynn's brownies, right? This is good stuff. Sweeter than anything he's ever tasted before. God's Word. God's Word he, he, he is so much greater. He says, yay, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Uh, if you haven't felt that, I'm challenging you, read his Word until it gets that sweet. Uh, in the hard times, you need something good, man, his word's mighty sweet. It's mighty sweet. Uh, if you ain't seen it yet, keep reading. Keep reading. Uh, keep seeking him out uh, because he is that sweet. His word is that sweet. Uh, and it would be great uh, to the taste of your mouth. Uh, one more verse, verse 104. He says, through thy precepts, I get understanding. He realizes far beyond just a head or a mind or a thought. Uh, it's through God's word where we get our understanding, through his precepts, through obeying and following him. Uh, that's where he gains his understanding and his knowledge. He says, therefore, I hate every false way. Uh, so much more deeper than just a mind game uh, or a mind learning. Uh, this is in his heart. He says, I know. I've learned so much from you and for your word, Lord, uh, and it causes me to see and to realize and to hate uh, every false way. Uh, man, as I look around this world, and I didn't always see it, but it's always been there. Uh, but the more I read God's word, the more I see all the wickedness surrounding us, uh, all the false and all the evil and the, and the, the sin surrounding us. Uh, and he, the psalmist has fallen so much in love with God's word. He says, it's causing me to hate every, all these things that I see, every false way, all that sin, all that wickedness. Uh, he's made a lot of choices to stick it out with God. Uh, he, he chose his, to delight in his word and has caused him to, to love God more and to love his word. Uh, oh, how I love thy precepts and thy law. Uh, and he's chosen those things 
Uh, even though his enemies are surrounding him, he's chose to look past that and to see God in his word. Uh, he's chose, uh, you know, we, we sit in class and we hear teachers teaching all the time and there's so many opinions in this world from bright and wise people, uh, but he's chose God's word uh, and God's given him wisdom beyond that. Uh, he's chose to look past even some of these old wise people, supposed wise, you know, uh, he's looked past all that and he's chose to refrain from certain places and things in every evil way, right? Uh, he shows all those things and he's got him more understanding, more knowledge, more love for God. Uh, that's my challenge to you this week. Uh, I want to encourage you uh, as the days go by and you make more and more choices in your life as you're going uh, and go about and choosing more, especially those who are graduating, uh, those are, it doesn't matter if you're just getting older, and we're all doing that. Uh, the older you get, the more choices you make. Uh, each and every day, you're making different choices. Uh, and choose God. Choose His Word. Uh, choose His precepts. Uh, and I encourage you, and I want to inspire you to be like this psalmist. If you'll ever get there, you're going to have to make some choices, and you're going to have to choose God and choose His ways. Uh, and then you'll fall in love with Him. Uh, and it, it'll be so sweet to you. Uh, it's uh, unimaginable. I can't compare it to anything else. I have many delights and many things that I enjoy, but it, nothing compares to God and His Word. Uh, the sweetness that is that comes from it, even when you're surrounded by your enemies, e even when you're surrounded by the storms all around us, uh, it can be far sweeter. It can be far greater. Uh, if you haven't been there, uh, keep choosing God. Keep choosing Him and His Word and His precepts. Uh, it, despite the pleasures and how good things look over here, choose God. Choose Him. Uh, it, you see it in the responses of the psalmist and where he's realized and got a hold of that understanding and that knowledge. And it comes from God. And he sees that and he knows that. And he says, I can't help but to think because of me and I'm human and my flesh, right? And this is just the human pimping in this down, too. We learn things through bad experiences and wrong experiences and mistakes. Uh, and he's learned through all those things, uh, this is it. Kind of like Solomon, right? The conclusion of the whole matter, he says. Uh, God. God. He, he's it. I've, he, he, Solomon had it all. He, he had everything. Money. Uh, he, he had friends, people, women. Uh, he had all the riches in the world. Uh, he says, God. The conclusion, the, the answer, God. Uh, him. Yeah, that's, that's where it's all at, guys. Uh, and I'm still learning this every day for myself. Uh, but I encourage you now to start learning it now. Start learning it early on. God's the answer. Uh, God is the reason. God is what we should be falling in love with. Uh, his ways and His word. That's what's going to be the greatest for us. Uh, he has the answer. He knows what's best for us. Uh, but we still have free choice, free will. He wants us to choose him. And that's what I want you to do. And that's what I want to encourage you to do. Choose him. Um, choose him. You won't regret it. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, I love you very much. And hopefully we'll be able to work something out to maybe where we can be together soon. I've enjoyed seeing a few of you uh, at church services, even if it's a, from afar behind the rope or whatever. But uh, hopefully uh, we're gaining more through this, though. Uh, and I know I am. I'm appreciating uh, the times that I do get to spend with you guys more and more because I'm not able to right now, right? Uh, if I had Moose Tracks ice creams every night uh, or brownies every day or, or nice uh, Pillsbury cookies, uh, hot from the oven every day. I want to appreciate them very much, but I miss you guys. I appreciate the times that I get with you, and I, I love you very much. Uh, and it's my desire to point you to what little bit of knowledge and wisdom and understanding that I do have. The sweetness of God. Love Him. Choose Him uh, with all that you're worth. Uh, it's far better than anything else you can choose. Uh, I've made a lot of wrong choices. 
uh, he's the greatest choice I've ever made, guys. Love y'all very much. Uh, we'll say a word of prayer, and uh, I hope to see you soon. I mean, Father, thank you for uh, this time to spend in your word. Thank you for this opportunity to be able to reach out to my friends and to share your word with them, Lord. I pray that it'll sink in and help us, Lord, because we make many decisions, whether we realize it every day, Lord. Help us to uh, see you in each and every one of them. Help us to choose you in each and every one of them. Help us always to, to point towards you. Uh, help us to restrain from some things. Help us to uh, always choose you. And Lord, you promise, even within those choices and those verses that we read, that uh, we'll gain that understanding. We'll gain that wisdom, that knowledge of you more. Uh, and ultimately, Lord, help us to gain that love of you and your word, uh, that it may help us and guide us ever more uh, and in greater and greater situations, Lord, that we may ever trust you Help us to realize it all comes from your word and choosing you and your word, Lord. Uh, Lord, I pray you help us to make those decisions, no matter how hard they may be, uh, in whatever situation to choose you. Uh, thank you for all your many blessings, Lord. Thank you for helping me to see that and understanding that. And thank you for helping me to see you uh, were the answer to my every need, Lord, and the answer to my sin problem. Thank you for saving me, Lord. I love you. Pray you'll do the same for many other people that are around me. Pray that you'll do the same for all those that hear your word going out, Lord, today in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, guys.